Well, hey, y'all, Cletus T. Weiler back with you. How y'all doing today? Well, we got a lot of stuff done last night. We unloaded the Mahindra off the wife's truck, put the trailer away. Yesterday, while we was out there spreading that stinky stuff, well, we made the comment about the plow, and we were talking to, talking to Mama, and she happened to get on the Tractor Doctor website, or not Tractor Doctor, <laughs> what the, the tractor paper, and she actually found us a plow, used one. Problem was, we didn't have a tractor that was big enough for it. Well, the farmer that was selling the plow said, I got you hooked up. I'll sell you the tractor that I use. So we borrowed it for now. We're just going to try it on our field, and we're going to see if see if it'll do the trick. But for right now, we're going to get on here and unload this setup here. And then we're going to... Uh, and we're going to get out there, and we're going to try to do that. Well, got the ramps down, got the straps off the tractor. So let's get this tractor unloaded so we can put our trailer away. See if I can get it off the trailer here without wrecking her. There we go. I think I might have done that a time or two. <laughs> well, not quite sure. We're just going to put it over here by the shop for now. Let's take the bucket off first so we can get our pallet forks. Let's go grab our pallet forks off the wagon. And we'll go park our trailer. And we'll go check out our new to us big boy toy. We got the, the boy, he's up and at it early. He's out spreading some stinky stuff for us. He's over there on that field that we were headed to at the last episode. Not quite sure how far he got. Can't see him from here. So I hope y'all are enjoying these episodes that we got going on here. I know I've been enjoying it. Uh, looks like the ramps are up. Let's go park this bad boy in the big old shed. I think that's what that's what our goal is going to be today. We want to plow up this grass field out back. I want to put a fresh, some fresh alfalfa in there. I'm not well. I'm not sure if we're going to do alfalfa or clover now, but we'll do one or the other. Either way, we got to plow it up because the soil samples didn't come back so great. So we're going to turn it over, and we're going to start fresh. And that should be, I'm going to jump out and double check, but that should be pretty good. Oh my, like I'd done it a time or two. I think we'll pull forward just a touch. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we'll go park the Dodge here. And we'll hop into Mahindra since we got it out. We'll drive on over and we'll go check it out. Brought it home last night. This drive's pretty good. Not in too hateful shape. Money's right. I think we might just buy her. Uh, 
of looks like the boy just unparked it right out in the middle of things. I guess he should have washed it off, maybe pooed her. Uh, we're gonna park this over here so we're not in the way of nothing. All right, let's go check her out. Look at that beast. Let me get the old LED light out here so we can check. You can see it a little better. A little dirty. I told you she wasn't no immaculate shape, but it works. And here's our new plow. It's like a pretty good toy. It's a big one. It's a big one. Fire it up. Listen to that. Listen to that. She just burned. There's the boy over there. Get some lights on here. And let's go out here. Going out here, we're gonna get get on to working on this a big old field. I tested it out yesterday before we brought it home. All the hydraulics work good. We got a couple bearings in the discs that, yeah, they could use a little bit PLC, but she should work. She should definitely work for us. This old custom fit GPS set up for us. And away like a herd of turtles. Before we go any further, I'm going to stop right there. We're going to get out and check the crown level out a little bit. Ah, it looks to be ripping stuff up pretty good. I think I can live with that. I definitely think I can live with that. All right, let's get back to work. So what do you think of our borrowed potential purchase we got here. Let me know down in the comments there on this here video. Let me know what you think. You think we should purchase it? So far, I'm liking it. This is a big old field. It's sure going to help us out with some of these bigger fields. Plus, we want, we've got our eye on some new land here, too. I haven't picked any up yet, but that don't mean we don't have our eye out for it. Got to expand this farm. Doughboy's counting on us. And I think we're going to redo that GPS so we can head down this long stretch down here. up here we're going to get repositioned on this here field that should have been our plan of attack from the get-go yeah we decided we was going to get up right and early we went in last night and helped the missus out a little bit with the unpacking and the boy pulled me aside he says daddy 
what do you got in the out in the field that I can help you with tomorrow? He says, I, I can't. I don't want to be unpacking all day. I said, well, I'm sure I can find you something. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to be spreading stinky stuff. <laughs> but all jokes aside, he's a good boy. He'll, he'll do what's asked. Sometimes he's a little slow. He doesn't want to, you know, typical kids, you know. You got to kind of kick them in the rear end to get them to go do something. And every once in a while, you got to go and do it again. I don't like doing stuff twice. Yep, this here's definitely a big old field. Well, there goes the boy. Look at that. Heading back with another load of slurry. Hopefully, I'll have to go check that field, make sure he's getting a good good spray pattern on it. This is a big field, but this this big tractor is definitely going to help us out get her done a little quicker. We got our order placed with the co-op for our seeds and Oh my gosh, what all did we get? We got seeds, we got... I'm not sure she ordered any lime. Told her to hold off, get enough fertilizer for the, for the cedar. And all the additives that we need for that. But I told her to hold off on, don't go too big, because we should be, we should have enough, enough poop to... To get most of the nutrients in but we got to go pick that up here at some point i don't know if that'll fall under today's episode or not maybe might not make it today maybe tomorrow but i tell you what let's just get in there and dig that plow up and then these crumblers do a real good job of breaking up the clumps i'm kind of impressed and I like this tractor, too. For being an oldie, she sure does good. She's, the air conditioning can blow a little colder. But thank goodness it's not that temperature yet where we definitely need it. But she's getting the job done. She claims to have about a little over 600 ponies underneath the hood. Not bad for a red tractor, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. You're just not... It's going to be a, a long one to shake that green, but... It was the deal I made with the messes. You know, Mama said that her family was red. She didn't really get into the John Deere stuff till, till I got in the picture, but... She liked that red, and... She said, because this was her family's farm, she wanted to do it her family's way. Well, it's not exact. My, you know, we're going to do a mixture of the way. But I caved in and I, I, I let her get, I let her, you know, go, go red. I'm not saying there won't be any green on the farm. Obviously, her family did because, well, the cultivator's green. And you saw on the farm tour, there was some other green stuff here, too. <laughs> But there might be a little bit more green. I, ju I just don't know yet. Wrong button, though, boy. That was the wrong hydraulic lever. There we go. All right, now that we've figured out the right hydraulic levers to push, let's try this again. There we go. So yeah, I, like I said, I, I I can't promise you there won't be any green on here. Maybe I I can sneak one or two in on the misses, but I don't. I'm trying to be, you know, that 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 nice kind husband. And she wants to go this route, so I'm trying to be understanding and and do it her way, so to speak. 
but I sure do miss that miss driving that green I won't I won't deny the red isn't bad it's really not bad it's doing the job and well that's what counts is getting the job done right And I guess if you want to be specific, you know, watch that little series that was there on that YouTube tube of you, whatever that channel is there. That old farmer that I like to watch there, Mr. Farmer Klein, and he did a, a little series there. It was called Red versus Green, and they did it on a farm up there in Canada. And, uh, Croft, Croft. Fish, Crawford, Crawford Farms, that's what it was. And as much as I was rooting for that green team, my buddy Doughboy was on that team too, and uh, Raz and a bunch of the good old fellas were up there. And much as I was rooting for that green team, they didn't quite pull it off. The red got them. So I guess, you know, well, I'm not going to say red is better, but I'm not going to say green is better anyway either. We're not going to start that old debate and debacle. I think it's a personal preference, to be honest with you. It's whatever you grew up with. It's whatever's comfortable to you. Personally, I've owned both, and well, they get the job done, and that's what matters. Now, there's some tractors out there that I think spend more time in the workshop than they do in the fields, but you get that no matter what the color is. But that was a good series. Did any of y'all catch it? That red versus green with Farmer Klein and Raz and and our good buddy Doughboy. Well, our boss, I guess I could, I guess, well, he's a good buddy, but... He's also the boss. He signs the paychecks. But Doughboy was on there too, and it was pretty good. I watched it for a while. And now I'm watching the, the episodes there that Farmer Klein's doing with uh, up in Susquehanna River Valley. And well, you all know that's where Doughboy's from, right? That's where he's from up there along the old Susquehanna. So I got into watching that, and <laughs> I have to laugh because our good buddy Raz, he's up there and he's doing, he hung up the tractor keys and he's doing some transport missions and fertilizing. He, he's basically a, well, agri, he calls it agricultural services, but those of us in the business, he's basically the town co-op. He does all the work the farmers don't want to do. <laughs> but he's got himself some big trucks and cool stuff. And I tell you what, he always does good. A good episode. He gets me laughing so hard my belly hurts. And then I start to coughing and... Well... Mama looked at me the one night and she says, What the heck is going on with you? I said, Oh, nothing. I'm just a watching Raz. But yeah, we get to have ourselves a good time. I, you know, every once in a while, they'll, go, they'll do what they call a live stream. And when they do that, their live stream, you actually get to talk to them. And if they're not too busy, they'll talk back. Well, <laughs> well they'll talk back in a good way. They'll answer your questions. We'll put it that way. Yeah. Well, I guess if you got pretty nasty, they may talk back to you, too. I, I don't know. I just, well, I don't know that they have it in them, to be honest with you. They're just good old folk. If I think about it, I'll tell the producers to put a link in the channel here underneath, you know, where it gives that little talk to, talk up and says what, who's who and what's what and what we did today and... At least I think that's what it says. Maybe I ought to look. Anyhow, 
I'll ask him to put a link to, to Mr. Raz and Mr. Farmer Klein's channel in there and you can go check them out for yourself. You tell me if your belly don't hurt after you're done watching one of them Raz shows. <laughs> I get a kick. It's kind of like the Super Bowl. I get a kick out of the commercials. He's got that one. It's, uh, oh, it's Carlos. Car that's, that's what it is. Carlos is used car lot. <laughs> oh, my. I, it's just a hoot. But, yeah. They asked me how I enjoy doing this, and I tell you what, well, you know, when I first started, I told everybody, you know, I don't know if I can talk so much in front of the camera like that, but then Mama, she looks at me and she says, are you kidding me? He'll talk an old man's ear off. <laughs> I see it will. If his ear falls off, maybe he's too old. <laughs> I better shush it, because I'm getting up in that dare age group, too. <laughs> I do like the jabber jaw, though. Usually, I like to do it while sitting on the front porch on a rocker with a good old bottle of that clear stuff in the mason jar. I think you know what I was talking about. <laughs> Oh, there I go telling my age again on the front porch on a rocker. Ay, ay, ay. I better just shush it. Maybe we all do. Well, now, I, I told myself we wasn't going to do one of them time-lapse things. Because I didn't, I didn't realize how much I, I did one on the last time. But I was kind of feeling under the weather. And I just wasn't so sure I wanted to talk so darn much last video. And... I guess we definitely did, uh, we kind of overdid it with the time lapse. It was a little on the long side, so I promise you we're going to, future time lapses with that funky music playing, we're going to try to keep them a little shorter. <laughs> uh, he, my producer called me up, he says, Mr. Cletus, he says, what did you do? He says, you gave me all this video and you didn't say a word. I said, well, yeah, that's supposed to be one of them things where you do all your magic stuff and, you know, you speed it up, make it look good and put that, you know, good old knee slapping, boot stomping music behind it. And he says, you realize how long that stretch is going to be? He says, holy canary, I had to put two songs behind it. I says, well, I didn't realize that. I told him. I says, all I knew is I wasn't feeling quite right, so the work needed done, and you were, you were saying you needed an episode, and well, I gave you an episode, didn't I? He says, well, that you did, but... That's a lot of music. Didn't quite bother me that he was complaining, but then I thought about it a little bit more, and I realized, well, if he's complaining, maybe my viewers will be too. And you well, know, I don't want to, I don't want to upset them. So I told myself, I says, Cletus, the next time you got that camera in front of you. You're going to do a little more talking, a little lot less of that music stuff, so. Oh, we're going to do some talking with you. I've been jabber jawing your ear off here for a while, I'm sure. Just don't let it fall off if it does catch it. <laughs> I wonder how the boy's making out over there. This drone don't fly quite high enough. I don't think so I can see him. Let's try it. Got a nice little button here we can push and it'll let it fall. Oh, there he is. Coming back from more slurry. And we're going the opposite direction. We're not going to be able to see him. Oh, well. I guess if I wanted to see him, maybe I ought to put a camera in his vehicle, too. Maybe I don't want to see what he does in the tractor. <laughs> it does get quite well. We'll just let it at that. 
I don't know, folks. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait for your comments on this piece of equipment. I'm, I'm actually liking it. I'm kind of thinking I need to write that old boy a check. Did I just say that? Did I just say I was going to write a check for Red? Oy, oy. Maybe I'll make the missus write the check. Then I then I can get away with saying that I, I didn't do it. <laughs> but I am liking it. I will say that. You know, talking about Red, we was, uh, after that, I guess it was the first episode, when that aired, we had a, uh, somebody come in the, in the comments down below and made a comment on that there video. I haven't talked to him in a little while, and so I was surprised. I was glad to see him, honestly. I was glad to see him, and I was, and then, then we actually got, you know, that cellular phone, that little thing, uh, you know, ring ling and dinged and found out that, well, I wished he'd have made a phone call, but he made a Discord message, so, you know, it, it works. I, I got a, all this new social media stuff, you know, that Twitter and Tweeter and, uh, Insta photo or in, 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 Instagram and, that book of face and we just got so many of this stuff the old school ways of talking just went out the window i tell you but i will say it was nice to get a phone call from him and he made a call oh i guess i ought to tell you who he's talking about <laughs> ah, cletus you just go running your jaw and you you getting all all squirreled anyway it was our good buddy mr rubber burner well, he messaged us, and he says, you know, he says, he says, Cletus, you know, you got a series with red and white and international. He says, I may have found myself a new favorite. We may have to stick to this one. And I said, well, you know, it's good to hear from you again, and if that's what it's going to take, I says, stick to her then. I think you'll enjoy it. But it was really nice hearing from him. I was shocked, to say none the least. And we talked for a little while. Well, I guess you could say we texted because, well, you can't exactly. Well, you can talk on that there cord, this, this cord stuff because you can do phone conversation. But we didn't. It, it was just a, a text message. But. We talked for a little while. It was nice getting caught up, and he's a huge supporter of the channel, and he helps Doughboy out with some of the mechanical computerized stuff. And it was nice talking with him, but he was shocked when he said, "You know, Cletus," he said. I didn't think I'd see you with red and white and all that good old stuff. So, well, didn't quite think I was going to see it either, but here I is. I am kind of enjoying it, though. I will say that. I do tell you what, this, this old girl right here, she's doing a good job. Who'd have thought when I was after a plow, I'd end up with a plow and a tractor. <laughs> and then they'd both be red to boot. I can't wait to see the hate mail coming in. I'm sure people will be commenting and I'm sure we, you know. People been after me, you know, the whole red versus green thing's been a little bit of a thing here on the channel. And, and for the longest time, I would, you know, I just said, hey, talk to the boss. He's the one that buys them. I just drive them, right? <laughs> well, I kind of got a promotion, and now I kind of have a say as to what we buy, so...
like I said, Mama wanted to do some bread on this here farm because that's what her family was into, so. I told her we'd do red. I was kind of thinking we'd buy some newer stuff, but when we took over the farm and had a bunch of the older, old school stuff, but well, I guess I shouldn't say too old because, well, it's right around my age, but it still works, so we're going to use them. I was kind of thinking I'd buy a new plow and a, a new tractor, but, well, the plow's not all that old. The plow's kind of fairly new. The tractor now, that goes back a couple years. Like I said earlier, if it works, gets the job done. That's what matters, right? I am liking it, though. It's definitely getting the job done. And, you know, this is a pretty big field. We've been jabber jawing for a little while. And look at how much we got done already. Yeah, we did. We got quite a bit done. I only got a little bit this little corner here and a headland. And we can chalk this field up. I guess what we'll do at this point, I said we weren't going to give you too awful much of that there live stream, but... I think we're gonna give you a little bit. We're gonna get this last little bit done and we'll be back with you. Enjoy the music. <laughs> It looks like he's gonna have to, he's gonna soon need some fuel. I hope he can get done with that there field. Or let us get done with this here field first, one or the other or both. But he say he's gonna soon need some fuel, some go go juice in that old tractor. But we're gonna get on around here and I hope y'all enjoyed this episode and like I said and you know, I'll try to get the uh, producers to go and put those links in the back, in the bottom there for, see if, you, if you're interested in that channel, in that Mr. Farmer Klein and Mr. Raz. But I sure do appreciate y'all hanging out with us. It means a lot to, to have y'all hang out and keep coming back and want more and Everybody said that, you know, you was a big push to bring this series back, so we sure do appreciate you. I need to go get around the other side of that there field. Now we'll just drive on down there, but get this little corner here.
But as long as y'all keep watching, I guess we'll keep recording it. I just can't believe y'all like watching a an old timer farm boy like myself go out here and drive tractors around, but I guess y'all do. As long as you guys are enjoying it, we'll keep a making them, I guess. Or until Mr. Doughboy fires me one or the other. <laughs> Missed a little spot here, so I guess it's a good thing we turned around and came back this way. I was afraid I was gonna hit my gravity wagons there. I parked them a little close to the field now. I guess right here is as good a time as any to call this an episode, but I hope y'all's enjoyed it. <clears throat> I hope you'll stick around for more. Keep on coming back. We're gonna keep on a making them, at least till I run out of things to say. <laughs> so in the meantime, y'all, you do what you gotta do to stay safe out there. Cause we all we want y'all to come back and and come see us another day. Send me some comments. I kind of like getting that there mail. I, well, you know, if it ain't snail mail, I like reading the comments on the videos and seeing what y'all's been up to and how you're liking it and what you don't like about it. And heck, you can even just be on there and just say something like Cletus, shut up. You talk too darn much. <laughs> I won't be offended. I hear it all the time. But if you want a little less talk and a lot more driving and music, let me know. I just kind of assumed that maybe I did a little too much last time. And maybe you were music out. I don't know. You'll have to let me know down below. But anyhow, before I keep on jabber jawing away, do what you gotta do to stay safe out there, folks. Stay healthy. Happy farming, y'all. We love you. God bless you. See ya.